Well, dear viewers, wherever you are, it's another chance for us to learn good English. And remember, I'm talking to you all the way from Nyanza region in Kenya, and my name is Willis Ochieng. Now, for this video, I'm taking you through some of the confusing words, words that are really confusing, maybe because they only have one difference in terms of a feature, one feature of difference, and they are words that can be tricky, and let's just begin straight by focusing on this list. Now, the first pair, tricky, the first part, C-A-P, you say cap, cap, but C-U-P, you say cup cup so we have the low front sound a uh, and the mid central sound o uh. so cap has that low front sound a uh, but c u p has the mid central sound a uh. so when we are going through the confusing words i know it will help you to understand what I'm talking about. So, let's now go through the list itself. Now, C-A-P, cup. C-U-P, cup, cup. Now, F-A-N, fun, fun. F-U-N, fun, fun, fun. Clear? Good, now. When we get to the next word, or the next pair, L-A-C-K, you say luck, luck, the low front sound a, uh, luck, but L-U-C-K is luck, luck. You get the difference? A slight difference, but very important in spoken English. Clear? Good. Now, the next word is M A. D. You say mud. Mud. But M U D. You say mud. 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 Clear? Well, the last pair has R A N. A tricky word for many people. R A N. You say run. Run, the past tense of R-U-N. You say run, R-A-N, with the low front sound A, uh, not sound E. Eh. Many people innocently say rain, but it's run. Run with that sound A. Uh. But R-U-N, whether it functions as the present simple tense form or as the past participle, you say, run, run, for R-U-N, run, but R-A-N is run, run, tricky words there. Do you agree with me? <laughs> but as I said, when you watch Willis English videos, you have a chance to understand even that small difference or the slight difference in pronunciation. Let's look at another list or a collection of other words, but these ones now have the long, low front sound a uh, and the long, mid central sound o. Uh, o. Uh, o. Uh, a. Uh, a. Uh, o. Uh, o. Uh. You get the difference? Well, they're right here. Let's take a look at them. So, in this list, the first pair, B, A, R, N, you say, ban, ban. You realize that long sound? Ah. Uh. But B, U, R, N, you say, burn, burn. You realize we have the long sound? Oh, uh, slightly different from ah. Uh. B A R N ban B U R N burn burn clear well the next pair we have F A R M 
you say farm farm but f i r m f i r m you say farm 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 a r m om i r m you catch the difference good now you have also another pair h a r d you say hard hard but h e r d you say hard hard had hard had hard do you get the slight difference good now the next pair m a r k you say mark mark to mark but m u r k you say mark mark you get the difference good now lastly p a r k you say park park but p e r k you say park park so it's about the long low front sound a uh, versus the long mid central sound o uh. clear i know such words have been really giving many people problems they have been giving people problems but now you can get or you can catch the difference a uh, o uh, a uh, o uh. you catch the difference great now let's move to words that really confuse many people can you try to say them can you try <laughs> just try wherever you are in any part of the world uh huh keep trying uh huh tricky words but i have given you the phonetic transcriptions for those who understand and i have used the i p a that is international phonetic alphabet so can you try <laughs> well dear viewers the first one the first one you say hat hat clear hat with the short low front sound a hat h a t now the second one hat hat h a r t has the long low front sound a so you say hat hat similarly h e a r t also has the long low front sound a you say hat hat so the two words are homophones different spellings and meanings but they are pronounced the same way now we move to the third or the next one not the third one but the next word h u t that one has the short mid central sound o uh. o uh. you say hot hot h u t hot but h u r t that r is silent and you say hot in fact it's not silent let me clarify something the u and r in that word function as a digraph that is a combination of two letters representing one sound and the sound that that u r represents in the word h u r t is the long mid central sound a uh, a uh. so you say hot hot so we have hat and hot we have hat and hot tricky for these words so let me again go over them because i have been receiving so many questions or requests from different parts of the world to ensure that i focus on these words now let me say them clearly again h a t hat hat h a r t and h e a r t hat 
hat h u t hot hot h u r t hot hot do you get them clearly good now that tells you that when you learn sounds clearly or very well things become very very nice because you need to know them for you to be very very accurate in terms of getting the sounds right in words and you get all those only on willis english videos now let's move to a part also here i know here we also have a problem many people have a problem with these words because you don't know when to use the pure vowel sound e and when to use that vowel glide a a versus a so i have to share with you all these on this video so the first word or the first pair we have debt debt that is the first word debt but the other one is date the date today is this and that but debt to have somebody's debt to have a debt d e b t debt d a t e date so you realize debt has the pure sound e technically we call it a monophthong monophthong the pure vowel sound then when you come to that a technically we call it a diphthong or a diphthong a glide on two vowel sounds so debt and date let's move on f e l l you say fell fell with a pure sound e fell but f a i l you say fail fail with that glide a fail clear great now the next pair l e t you say let let but l a t e you say late late he came late let me tell you something do you catch the difference great now let's move to the next one m e s you say mess mess with a pure vowel sound e in fact the mid front sound e mess but when you come to m a c e you now say maze maze the maze clear then let's move to the last one that is the last pair s p e d to speed but sped the past tense sped s p e d sped but s p a d e that tool you say spade spade you can realize that there is that glide a sped spade so it's about that pure sound e in certain words in the english vocabulary versus the words with that slight glide a clear <laughs> you must get them right and remember that is just something for you and still we have a lot in the subsequent videos it's now about common errors in grammar pronunciations confusing words non existent words words that we think exist in the english vocabulary but they are not actually found in that vocabulary of english so in this case let me just remind you about that important message from me to all the viewers of willis english videos please just view you can share like and you also subscribe you view you like you share and you can also subscribe because the journey is long and it's a wonderful journey because there is a lot in store for you i have prepared what may run for several years for you so let's keep it english good english so if you also want to interact with me maybe you want to ask me a few questions you want to make a suggestion on something so please 
you can use just a short text message from wherever you are in any part of the world. Just send me a short text message to just take a look. Take a look. <laughs> well, you can send me a short text message to plus two five four seven two seven O two nine one five nine. Plus two five four seven two seven O two nine one five nine. But you can also send me a short message, maybe on email. You can do me an email if you like, and that email should come to Willis Ocheng twenty eight at gmail dot com. Willis Ocheng twenty eight at gmail.com so let me just display the same same contacts for you for those who didn't see or did not see them clearly that is plus two five four seven two seven oh two nine one five nine and you can also do me an email and the email should be to willis ocheng 28 at gmail.com otherwise dear viewers otherwise it's time to tell you bye but don't miss the next video on willis english videos you will love it because we have just to ensure that we cover everything that is useful in spoken english for now it's bye